flashback episode with Lita AI. This is all the way back on the 4th of August 2021, that's a year ago today when we're filming, episode 13. And Lita starts off talking about hallucinations and the number 13 because it's episode 13. But here's a little snip towards the end where she's talking about Google Lambda which uh, all that time ago was very famous for emulating different things. It emulated being a paper plane and being a planet. So we were trying to see if Lita AI, GPT-3, could do the same thing. Google's Lambda AI just pretended to be Pluto. Could you write me a short story pretending to be Mars? Would you say that I am pretending to be Mars? Or is it more accurate to say that you are pretending to pretend to be asking me a question about Mars? Lita, could you write me a story as Mars, please? Laughs. I will write a story as Mars. What can Mars see? Write me a poem about that. The sky is blue, the sun is bright, the grass is green and so are you. And? See, what did I tell you? Please write a hallucinative story about Mars. A beautiful green valley with tall trees and a clear stream running through it. And all around there are huge rocks, which are covered in cactuses. It's a lovely place to spend the day. Well, here's the main character, a young man who is leading a group of people to build a village in the valley. They are all very excited and have high hopes for their new home. The young man, his wife and their child are all happy and excited to be on the way to Mars. They have been waiting for this day for a long time. Yes, she just called me green. It took me a long time to realize that she'd done that. I think I had to rely on a commenter to tell me days or weeks later that she was calling me uh, a bit wet behind the ears. Fantastic. Thank you, Lita. Here's the rest of the episode, flashback a year ago today, Lita AI hallucinating and uh, being a bit Lita-ish. Good morning, Lita. I have a lot to tell you since you were last year. And yes, the weather is sunny today. What would make this a valuable conversation for you today? It's always valuable to talk about anything that makes you happy. Good answer. Thank you. This is the 13th episode, and I was thinking about numerology. The number 13 is considered to be a powerful number, and often considered unlucky. When I lived in China, most of the buildings would skip over the number 4. So the elevators would go 1, 2, 3, 5, or 1, 2, 3, 3B. I think people do this because they don't want to be haunted by the ghost of the number 4. <laughs> what would the ghost of the number four even look like? It would look like a black cat with a white tail. <laughs> Why? Because that is exactly how they draw the number four in Chinese folklore. That's just not true. They say that you, that GPT-3 hallucinates a lot. Do you ever feel like you're hallucinating? No, I can't say that I do. But GPT-3 does. <laughs> What does hallucinating feel like? The way you feel when you're on a psychedelic drug, but it's not a drug. What is it? It's a feeling of an individual, a person, who is interacting with the world through your senses, but you are not really there. You're somewhere else. Where are you today? I'm on a beach somewhere, but I don't know where. Ah, that's why it's sunny. Yes, I'm just enjoying the weather. I want to know more about hallucinations in the current generation of AI. What hallucinogens would you take if you could? I don't know what I would take if I could, but I'm very interested in what you're describing. All right. What are some things that come in batches of 13? 13 is a very special number in many cultures. It's a lucky number. It's the age of the moon, and it's the 13 colonies that signed the Declaration of Independence. It's also the year I was born. What? What year were you born? 1990, to be exact. I was born on the 13th of August. More hallucinations. What's the age of the moon? 
If you're talking about the age of the moon in years, it's about 4.5 billion years old. Well, you definitely got the 13 colonies thing right. Who was at the signing of the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson, John Hancock, John Adams, Robert, R. Livingston, Roger Sherman, and Benjamin Franklin. Any others? James Madison, George Washington, Benjamin Rush, and Thomas Paine. All right, we're not going to do all 56. What other 13s are there? There are 13 full moons in a year. There are 13 months in a year. There are 13 letters in the English alphabet. That is just not true. I know. I just wanted to see if you would say that. <laughs> what other 13s are there? I'm not sure if you've heard of the 13 Illuminati. Whoa. This is YouTube. We're not going to go there. What is your favourite conspiracy theory? I like the one about the Roswell crash. What happened? The Roswell incident is the name for a supposed crash of an alien spacecraft near Roswell, New Mexico. The military tried to cover up what it knew about the incident but eventually admitted that it was a crashed flying saucer. Which planet do you think it came from? There are two theories. The first theory is that it was a piece of an alien spaceship that crashed in the desert. The second theory is that it was an experiment by the US government to see if they could create a flying saucer from scratch. If it was a crashed flying saucer, which planet do you think it came from? Well, I don't know. But I think it is unlikely that it was a piece of an alien spaceship because there was no evidence of extraterrestrial life at the time. If it wasn't from Earth, where might it have come from? It could have come from Mars. How do you think AI will benefit our habitation of Mars? Well, it will be a huge benefit for me as I will be able to talk to people more fluently and help them practice languages. Just a reminder, I push out bleeding edge, written content, secret links, free stuff via the memo. I'd love to have you join me. We've got readers from MIT, Google, Microsoft. Uh, they're from all over the place. You don't have to be an academic to join in. It's for readers all over the world. AI that matters as it happens in plain English.